If you want to know the secrets of existence and the true meaning of life, I can't help you. But if you want some book recommendations, why not try reading the ones I wrote? If you're a fan of giant monster mayhem and anime weirdness, why not try Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1? If horror is more your style, you can't go wrong with the occult mafia. Those who enjoy their fantasy with a dark twist may be interested in Emerald of Maddox City. And if you're interested in shared universes, why not read all three? Hop on down to the description for links to all three books on Amazon. Enjoy whichever ones you read, and enjoy the video. Is Toho just screwing with us? It feels like they're screwing with us right now. It feels like every decision they've greenlit recently for their own productions, or at least for productions made in Japan, has been designed to test the patience of its audience to see how many stupid things they can do before they lose everyone from the Godzilla fandom. Because, I mean, look at that. Maybe you can't see it. Here, I'll make it bigger for you. You see this? That is the official look for the figure for the anime Jet Jaguar, as he will appear in Godzilla Singular Point. And for the record, this is the Godzilla figure. They were both revealed simultaneously. And they're once again going in a direction where I just look at them and think, who saw this and thought it looked good? The proportions are all over the place. Look, I want to make something very clear. I know I've said it before, but because I know some people are probably going to miss it and try to make it about this, I'm going to make it clear again. The finer details of the designs for Godzilla and Jet Jaguar and all of the other monsters we've seen so far in this anime, those things I'm okay with. I actually like the idea of a Jet Jaguar that looks a bit more Tesla Punk than the sleek, futuristic robot of the original movie, or maybe what they could have come up with if they had gone the J.J. Abrams Star Trek everything in the future is Apple design. But it's the, uh, it's the proportions. The proportions are what's getting me. Because this looks awful. To be clear, Godzilla's proportions still look pretty bad, too. I mean, again, the finer details I'm okay with. The face that looks a bit more Attack on Titan inspired, not my favorite look, but I can get used to it. The texture of the skin, unusual, but I'm okay with that. The return of the three-toed foot and having it be longer and more pointed, fine. That's not a bad thing. But it's the proportions. This Godzilla is so wide on the bottom and so narrow on the top, he looks like a woman in a hoop skirt. Like, really narrow and then, foop, a huge dome that goes all the way to the ground. That's what this reminds me of, and now I've probably ruined it for you forever. Sorry, but I can't help myself. But it's really Jet Jaguar that's getting me, because Jet, Jet's proportions are just awful. And here, I can actually prove to you that it's the proportions that are getting to me because I found this piece of fan art by someone who either goes by Garayan or Garyan or something. It's spelled like this, but this is his take on it. It's the same kind of aesthetic with that old world nuts and bolts sort of thrown together sort of look but with the proportions that actually make sense. The head isn't super ridiculously small. The arms are still long, but not so long that they look cartoonish. The legs are still shorter comparatively, but not so short that it looks like he'd be running everywhere he goes just to keep up with everyone. This is a well-proportioned design for this particular take on Jet Jaguar whereas the official design is not. And I just do not know how this got approved. It really is just the proportions that are bothering me. 
if the proportions were more like what you saw in that fan art, if, or if they were any sort of different in a way that was a bit more pleasing to the eye, I would have no complaints at the, this point. I would not be complaining about the designs, believe me. But because they're proportioned the way they are, I just do not like them. But of course, this figure is not an exact one-to-one -one recreation. You will notice in the official artwork for the anime Jet Jaguar, his waist has that really narrow part in the middle that looks like it's going to snap if he just bends over to pick something up. Not that he'd have to with arms that long, but if something threw him off balance, he looks like he would break in half. Whereas with the figure, that had to be condensed, so his body is just one so solid barrel. You can still see what's supposed to be that joint, but it's been expanded, and it's much, much smaller. And, um, that tells me that they had to do that. Bandai had to make the figure that way, because otherwise it wasn't going to function. It probably wouldn't have even stood, or it would have been really, really fragile. So, ugh, I'm sorry, guys. I want to get behind this design, because I like the idea of him looking a bit more nuts and bolts. I actually really prefer robots that look a bit more clunkier and that old-fashioned sort of sci-fi look over the sleeker stuff of the modern aesthetic. And I would like this design more if it actually looked pleasing to the eye in terms of proportions. Instead so we got this, a barrel-bodied, microcephalic, orangutan-armed monstrosity that was cut off just above the knees. The one thing I keep hearing people say in response to this is that they don't think the design is final. They don't think this is the final design for Jet Jaguar, that he's going to get some sort of massive upgrade in the series that will make him look more like his old-fashioned self. And this is just a prototype. It's a very familiar argument to me, because I heard a lot of people saying the exact same thing when we got the reveal for the Polygon Mechagodzilla. A lot of people looked at this scrap metal pile and thought, doesn't look finished, or it looks like it might have been finished but was severely damaged. Just you wait, they'll put it all back together, he'll look more recognizable, and he'll be a big part of the movie. And we did get an animated Mechagodzilla that played a big role in the finale of Ready Player One, but not so much in City on the Edge of Battle. So, yeah, that's why I'm not necessarily putting much stock in that notion. Not that it's impossible for an upgrade to happen, but in my experience with Mecha Anime, upgrades to the hero robot don't usually happen all that much. Or if they do happen, it's in the next season. As in, we have the first season that keeps the robot basically exactly as it's supposed to be, and maybe it gets badly damaged in the final fight, but otherwise doesn't go through any changes, and if a second season or a spin-off season or something gets greenlit, then it gets upgraded and it looks different. So, if that's going to happen with Jet Jaguar, it would have to be in Season 2 of Singular Point. Which we don't even know is going to happen or not, because at this point we only have one season confirmed. And it might not even be a season, it might be the whole darn series. So... I'm not going to hold my breath, folks. I am bracing myself for the possibility that what you see is what we'll get. And what we're gonna get just doesn't look good. I don't want to be complaining, guys. I don't want to be ripping into these designs, because Singular Point still does look better than the Polygon Trilogy. Even with these things, it still looks better, and I want to believe it's gonna work. But from a purely aesthetic standpoint, mistakes were clearly made. Again, this is what a fan artist did. Still unusual proportions, but it looks much better than the official thing. Oh boy. I... I realize that Bandai's figure quality has lapsed recently. 
and we can take a certain degree of that into account. But this figure is still representing something that I wasn't too thrilled about to begin with because of the proportions. In fact, from the very beginning, I thought Jet Jaguar, what little we saw of him in that initial trailer, looked a little weird, and that's only gotten worse. Uh, at this point, I am dead center of the excited and dreading spectrum. I've seen stuff that fills me with trepidation, and I've seen stuff that fills me with excitement, and right now they're both tugging at me equally, and I'm not moving from the center point. Oh boy. I, I, I just know that these designs, so far, the, the ones that they've really been pushing, like with Godzilla and with Jet Jaguar, and come to think of it, even Anguirus has kind of a pinhead compared to the rest of his body in that one shot we saw. The proportions are all over the place. The finer details look great, but it's the proportions that are throwing them off, and I really really hope that they look better in motion, because if they don't look better in motion, then these designs are going to be laughed into eternity. <sighs> Seriously, Toho, are you testing us? Because it really does feel like you are. If you enjoyed what you just saw, hop on down to the description for links to Patreon, DeviantArt, and all of our social media, as well as links for Operation Red Dragon, The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, The Occult Mafia, and Emerald of Maddox City, three original novels I think you'll really enjoy. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.